Wind, lightning, and thunder made for a loud night across the metro. That is right, and this morning some parts of town are waking up to damage. 3 News Network reporter Kent Lutzen is live in southwest Omaha with the details. Kent, good morning. Good morning, Cerise and Jenny. That's exactly right. I'm a pretty deep sleeper, so I didn't wake up to the storm, but hearing everyone else wake up in the middle of the night kind of makes me a little envious because I didn't get to enjoy the lightning and thunder that everyone else experienced. But like you said, many people are waking up to damage. You can see, you know, this tree down here on 108th and Mockingbird, just right near our station, actually. Um, and you know, Reports of downed trees or debris in the roadways like this are coming in from all over the metro area. Let's pull up some video now of the Elkhorn area. The heavy rain and wind moved in after midnight and could, um, you know, kind of be seen in all parts of the Omaha area, including Elkhorn. You can see here there were also reports of trees knocked down and power outages from Midtown to Exarban Village and Westward. Ralston police reported storm debris blocked several roads early and even knocked out power to several traffic lights. Now for many, that was the biggest problem caused by the storm, lack of power, which began around 1 a.m. Around 2 this morning, OPPD reported more than 14,000 customers lost electricity. Most of those were reported in Douglas County. OPPD says crews are working to restore power right now. The utility website shows about 5,600 are still in the dark. Now, this is a good reminder to just kind of be, pay attention as you're on your morning commute. You might yeah, wake up to no power, and you also might need to just slow down with some of the debris in the roadway. Again, this wasn't a storm that was as nearly as bad as we saw in July or even just two weeks ago, but again, another Omaha storm this summer. Reporting in Omaha, Kent Lutzen, 3 News Now.